Hey, hello, Reckoners, and welcome back. Today's indie game is Gravitas. Now, this is a game which, for all appearances, is uh, strongly influenced by Portal, to phrase it politically correctly, which is fantastic. That's, you know, an instant sell. So, let's start. I have not played or even booted this game before. Enter player name. We are, of course, Fahemner. Oh god, I hate- oh, I just noticed. I hate E- I, I- I have a strong, strong preference for my E's to be horizontal. I don't know why. That 45 degree E just... Not my cup of tea. Space Shark Studios presents. Ooh, voice acting. That means I get to sit here silently feeling like an awkward idiot. For fear of talking over voice acting. At least the subtitles run by default. That's always very nice. So we're in the docking pod. Oh, I can look around. Of course I can. That's some smooth jazz deployed. Korg? Gorg? Gorg. What kind of restrictive, oppressive environment is this? Yes. Oh, my new pupil! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! Look at your tiny blank face! So happy you could come! Mm. Uh, I kind of don't like this hello guy. Hello to our new pupil! Hello to our new pupil! Thank you, she. Mm. Let's start over, shall we? Uh, uh, apologies if I seem out of sorts. It's been many a month since my last pupil died. It is an egregiously large pleasure to meet you. My name Egregiously is large. No matter. Mm. Yes, yes, that makes the right body parts tingle. But uh, but enough about me. Let us begin your journey. Welcome, my new pupil, to the gallery of refined gravity. Gravity. I'm gonna read this first. She, you, you, silly girl. Remember how we rehearsed this? Engage the gravitas protocol. Engaging. Yes. Okay. Let's. Uh, uh, she, uh, open the lobby door, please. Lobby door? Malfunctioning. The main door of course is it just... is. <coughs> Nothing is wrong. Let me just get this open. You. Hmm. That's pretty nice looking. Okay, he's gone. Thank goodness. Let's read this thing. Why was I hit this button? The Fieldable Cube. The Fieldable Cube is a scientific marvel made out of love and duct tape. The most advanced cube in the gallery. You may find them in later exhibits. Be careful, though. Packing that much technology in a beautiful bundle makes them gorgeous, but heavy. Not unlike elephants. The Wire Cube. The Wire Cube, while aesthetically delightful, proved unsuitable for regular use in the gallery due to its delicate structure. One good hit can turn this cube into a series of thin cylinders, which are not remotely allowed in this gallery. These cubes now serve primarily as a lightweight decoration, and on sunny days, a very comfortable hat. Do they? Let me see this gorgeous headwear. Oh uh, yes, I can see how that would be very stylish. Very cool. It's two more, yes? At least, just two more precisely, okay. The Hollow Cube, this is from Dark Souls. The Hollow Cube was a prototype for creating credit creating a lighter, easier to move cube. However, somehow she managed to misinterpret the blueprint, and now it's weigh it now it weighs over 14 tons. Where does the extra weight come from? We just don't know. That's basically how they explain a lot of Marvel characters. Where does the extra mass come from? Oh. The Crimson Cube! Sounds like a superhero. A lame superhero, but nonetheless. The Crimson Cube is a powerful superhero, holy crap! My brain must have subconsciously read that. My, my seeing this, my eyes must have put the word superhero into my head for me to say that, because that's too big a coincidence. The Crimson Cube is a powerful superhero in the Cube world, capital C, capital W, searching for the villain that killed his parents and took a piece of his head as a trophy. His is a tale of revenge and betrayal enhanced by the fact that he is a cube spending his life searching for a smaller cube. 
Show me. Doo -doo -doo. Very shiny. Very slick. A little too metallic for my tastes, but still cool. This unique hey. gallery is an exploration into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. I don't care. The only rule is no talking ever. I can right? do that. Good. She, the elevator. The star eyes remind me of a Steven Universe. Out so the to window. My revolutionary work here, you will need this special glove. Give me. Just interrupt me by immediately grabbing Indeed, of course. I will interrupt you every chance I can get. All right then. Gonna see now. Begin the connection sequence. Integrating artistic appreciation enhancement apparatus. Ah uh, ah uh, e ah. Uh. Ding. Integration Ding. complete. All right, you should be ready. I feel so ready. Very limited control over gravity. Well, somebody has done this before. Yeah, I, yeah, Back sure. My new can I reverse gravity with the right click? No, I can just left click those panels to cause that to become down. A tube See, becoming down. These graphics are very good though. Uh, and they, these color palettes, very reminiscent of Mirror's Edge. Oh, purple and orange. I have not seen you before. That's pretty cool. I don't care about you guys. Those doors. That's a cool opening animation as well. Vaguely, vaguely MST3K. Oh, just out of opening in a bizarre this way. Is the first piece of my gallery. Beauty. I call this one. Wow, alright. She just turned everything on. Yep. The new pupil apparently can't even stand 10 seconds of exposition. I cannot. So, I'm sorry. Piece, I'm just going to observe you. If you don't mind. Normally I could. Hmm. I can pull there. I gotta explore a little bit. Oh, let's go! Can I jump into that? No. I needed something going down to pull me up. That is a prerequisite. I can jump. Hmm. What am I missing? Here? I can't get you in range. Can I hit the edge of you? I cannot. Already stumped. Well played game. Make me feel full of confidence on this first puzzle. I keep seeing Z fighting, I think. It's weird distracting the little blips of color. Can I even get out from down here? Well, presumably, presumably being down here is okay then if I'm stuck. See, I keep seeing flashes of blue. Why is that? Yeah, that's. Uh, there it is. There it is. I can't. Nope. That, yeah, every now and then I see a. Tearing. Pretty sure it's a bug and not a clue. I hope it's not a clue, because if it's a clue, I'm never going to understand it. Never ever. Okay, I was hoping that would be a cool perspective thing. Really can't jump into that? I can only hit those, right? Dang. Can I pull a cube, maybe? I don't know where cubes are to be pulled. Sadly. Oh. Oh, well. Hey, we've solved the puzzle! Just a simple matter of... Basic gravitasation now. That's a good speed. I... You know, I mean, I'm so used to having the... Tube transport... Kind of be slow, like from a... Portal. And so it's actually kind of nice to have it be quick. Oh no! Oh no! How could I, I need to look perfectly in line. There we go. And then you. No, 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 no. It's oddly quiet. Disconcertingly quiet, I would say. So I drop you there. I guess I want to go over there. A gourd reminder. Press and hold the left mouse button to preview. Oh, look at you button. discovering things after I oh, tell you to. Oh, preview. All those special apparitions. Ghost fields. What are you talking about? These? I missed what he was talking about. I apologize. That should be a surface. Right. Oh, it's a cube. Come over here, cube. Big ol' cube. And I can just jump onto that, right? Good, good, good. Oh, look at you scaling that symbolism really fast. Wow, this phallic symbolism? 
<laughs> Actually, this is kind of funny. Uh, this type of elevator system really reminds me of Cube. I don't think I did a let's play with Cube. Spelled Q-U-B-E, like an acronym. About a garden of gravity. A garden of gravity. Not quite enough. I figured that one out. So if I hold it, I see preview. Got it. You are. I'm trying to think of things that are more annoying than this guy. <sighs> He's like that Robin Williams robot from the movie of the same name. Not to, not to disparage Robin Williams, but he can be a little much sometimes when he's poorly written. Kind of like Martin Short. Okay, what's the goal here? I assume I want to get out that door, meaning I need to bring... this cube... into the way. Or one of these cubes. Oh, I wish I could... This preview fun- there we- oh, that's really cool. So look at this. I can preview where the, uh, gravity thing will go. If it happens to intersect a cube, there's a cube that lights up- Oh, that's- see, it's a, I can't see the cube, but I can know I'm gonna hit the cube with the gravity thing. That is an insanely good feature. Well done, guys. Holy crap, that's... Outrageously user-friendly. <laughs> you got no business being that intuitive <laughs> on your interface. <laughs> uh, you gotta go anywhere for Apple next. Okay, I assume... Yeah, there we go. This service is what's gonna happen. Boom. Let me drop you. The first stone falls into the river. Scaring deer and confusing the birds. <laughs> the stone judges you. The second stone stays neutral. It does not know you. But like what are they doing? The oh, let's go around in a lap. It does this because it is insecure. Oh, I see. Let's pull them out. Yoink. Zzz. Yoink. Zzz. Oh, it's a gravitational field, so it just pulls them in. That's cool. This is slick. This is... Uh, there's a lot more, like, just features to this game than I kind of anticipated. Cancel that. I just push it in from here? Am I too weak? Eh. Looks like I'm too weak. Okay. Let's... And cancel. The third stone go. disturbs some fish. They jump out of the water for safety and land on the shore. As they slowly die gasping, they attempt to lament the irony. However, they cannot because they are fish. After like 2.5 seconds, they forget they are dying. <laughs> uh, let's go here. I want to get onto that platform just to get a better vantage point. There we go. Aha! There we go. I needed to. Can we hit all three from here? We cannot. This one hit one. Why would that hit three? But this doesn't hit three. Oh, I, okay, whatever. Drop down there. The fourth stone breaks the surface cool. of the calm pond of your mind, creating ripples that disturb the moss and line imagination. it up. The wavy imaginary moss distracts a deer, oh dear. who runs away immediately into a tree. The fifth stone is a metaphor for distractions. The stones <laughs> have now all drowned. Oh no. Evacuating is now 42% Ooh. recommended. Finally, we have company and also Ooh. a gift care. As cool as these cubes are. As cool as these cubes are. Obviously. None of them can hold a candle oh, to the, my dear Cece. I have a surprise for you. I've added a few new things to this next piece to maximize your appreciation of my uh, genius. I'll listen to you Isn't this time. You I'm earned so it with how good that last level was created. <clears throat> Welcome to the second piece of my gallery. I call this one, Now You Can Die! Alright, we'll go have some fun. And watch your step, if you like feet. You know what? I'm gonna listen to you ever again. You're kind of a jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. It seems like the wrong direction, though. <laughs> Who was the voice actor for, um... What was the skinny bad guy in Lilo and Twitch? I mean, he wasn't a 
proper bad guy, but you know, there's, there's the there's the two there's the there's the main big big tall bad guy, but then there's the two like scientist bad guys. One of the ones like an octopus with multiple tongues. What was his name? Who voice acted, that voice acted him? Oh, there you are. That's a very like him giggle. A friend of mine. This here is Bartholocube. He will be assisting you with this particular piece, which is good because he has neither skin nor eyes. Uh, be gentle with him, though. He's sensitive really sensitive can you block those lasers for me be a pal thank you kindly we did it and pull that cube bingo pull that cube play those lasers I assume I can just go up, underneath. Sweet. That's cool. This is cool! I mean, I'm only playing with one kind of box right now. Man, the possibilities. I don't know if this is a game... This is a demo? I assume this is a demo. Uh, obviously, I will... Clarify... In the description below after. But... I want this to be a full game. I want more. I mean, it's not over yet, obviously, but... What? What? Would I what? You please take Bartholomew Cube with you into the next room. Isn't this Barth? I think he feels like you abandoned him, and he's starting to cry. And it's isn't this Bartholomew Cube? Really weird. Just, just come and get him before he starts drinking. I, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm assuming it's poor coding, and I did the right thing. Ah, thank you. Oh, I see. He'd been the ground. It didn't count as on the ground. Not having limbs. Dumb. Okay, like, I want. Oh, great. Okay. Well, let's, uh, is there a source for here? There is. Let's... Just bring everything over here. And then surf on the block. I'm a block server. Okay, goodbye, cube. I'm not taking you with me this time. Good luck. Oh! Oh! He blew him up. I mean, again, there's no CC, but... You must truly understand why the mind fears death. Must but I? But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. A Gorg reminder. There's Gorg no reminder. Laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. Oh! Oh! Hey! How about... Why didn't I stay on the cube this time? Is it perhaps... A different sort of cube, and oh god. Why does it have to trigger the voice talking every time? Okay, I'm on the cube. Okay, it's just a glitch last time. Can I crouch? It doesn't matter. It matters not. Where am I trying to go? Your penguin pupils. Does that go all the way through? No ah, it does. There we go. That's, that's the trick. Pull him. You pusillanimous, cantankerous bucket of bolts. Pull us back and stay on the cube. And up. And down. Okay, we're up here. Oh, maybe I wanted to stay. Hit. I like how he says that. It's a good boost to my confidence. <laughs> I don't care if it was actually fast or not, but it makes me feel good about myself. And I... That means it's, it's nice. I call this one surprise! Surprise! Boom! Quickly! Appreciate my work while you're still high on adrenaline! Oh, it's reminder. great. It's beauty. Broken Wonderful. Glass Broken or, glass is... You know, just stand in the viewing room <laughs> and twitch. There's technically another option. What do I want to do? Why am I twitching? I didn't think I was twitching. I apologize for that. Oh, it's glass. That tricked me. I don't want to. No clear. What are you talking about, sir? 
Okay, can I wreck a thing? Yes, I assume you want me to wreck that thing. Oh no, I didn't do it. Okay, it's straight up. It's lined up, right? Beautifully. Come on! Sweet. I hate glass. Glass killed my fam. And rightly so. Anger is the natural response to coexisting with stupid people. Hmm. Interesting, it wasn't pulling me for a second. Why did that take so long to respond? Now what? I want to get over there. But how? But how? Pull the cubo. I can jump on it. Sure, it's easy to get back to where we are. Let's jump on him. Ride him across like a boss. Like a boss! Haha, <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Stop calling me a pupil. Now refine all the big glass into billions of titans. Oh. 